More than six months since Denver changed how it licenses tobacco sales, the city is cracking down. On Monday, 23 businesses received the first ever fines. After giving them warnings and trying to make sure they get the license, the ones that have not gotten compliance they received a citation today. Eric Escudero with Excise and Licenses says each citation is for selling tobacco products without a retail tobacco store license. A new requirement passed by City Council in 2019 and implemented last summer. The change came along with Denver raising the minimum age to buy tobacco to 21. And that's what this tobacco license is all about, is making sure that uh, when kids go in, they try to purchase tobacco, and if those stores don't card them and they sell to youth, well, there are consequences. Of the 23 businesses cited, 11 are family dollars. The rest include locally-based stores like Marley's on Broadway and Hush Vapor on Colfax. While no store owners would talk on camera, one told CBS4 they don't sell tobacco products. Another said they're in the process of getting licensed and shouldn't be fined. That's the goal. Escadero says the new rules aim to address one of the city's growing concerns. Unfortunately, youth tobacco usage is on the rise, especially with flavored tobacco. And so it is our duty to protect the health, safety, and welfare of our citizens, and that includes our kids. Now, the first fines are about $150, but multiple fines can add up to violations of $999, while several dozen have been found in violation. More than 300 businesses are properly licensed in Denver. In Denver, Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.